That's definitely definitely a load shift. See that? Definitely a load shift. I just unloosened these straps. I'm about to try to pull this back. See if I can get it back tight. I had an edge protector up here. It fell out. I had it right there. Yeah, it fell out. So I'm going to try to pull this over. See if I can get it tight back down. Guess what? I fixed it. I fixed it. I had to move a couple straps around. But we got it done. And I'm on my 30 minute break. This took about 15 minutes. Now I'm about to really take 30 minutes. Job site delivery. Hey, these are some of the worst deliveries you'll ever do as a flatbed driver. <laughs> they are job sites. They be in the middle of nowhere. The address they give you usually doesn't fucking work because it ain't it ain't a real ain't a real address. It's a new address. So most of the time, damn GPS won't even bring you in here. So you gotta. Look on Google Maps and get an address or something close by and just wing your way in here. Because my address, you see my truck right there. My address got me going down the road. Like, like making a right and going down the road. But it's a damn sign that say no trucks. <laughs> so this is the entrance right here. But I didn't know that until I had to get out and look. Same shit they teach you in damn truck driving school. Yeah, no truck's supposed to go down there. There's the entrance, but the, the GPS put me down there somewhere. So now I know where to go, but they got a sign say, say um, all visitors must check in. So that's what I did. I went and checked in. And they told me, I gotta call somebody before I pull the truck in. See the GPS? See where it got me? I don't use the GPS now. This is Google Maps. GPS right there. And you see the same shit. It's got me going down here. But you can't go down there. You gotta go right here where I'm at right now. Oh shit, there's a guy right there. There's the guy. I ain't even have to call him. Let's pull on in here. Oh yeah. All right, duck truck, come on out of there. I can't go till you come out. Hey, I know y'all be seeing them down at Trucker Wild of Fame and and the damn uh, Twisted Truckers on Facebook. <laughs> We having them swift trucks up there. They be pulling into some fucked up places. That's why, man. Because they, they, they follow the GPS. But sometimes you gotta you gotta follow your damn common sense. If the shit say if the shit say no trucks, yeah, no damn trucks. Hell, yeah, just the other day, when I was picking this same load up right now. I was down in Georgia. You have arrived at your destination. I was leaving out of uh, I was leaving out of Bad Austin. You heard my GPS. Now it said you have arrived at your destination. After I pulled in the gate. <laughs> After I got lost. But yeah, I was uh, down there in Bad Austin, Georgia. And, and my GPS was telling me to make a turn. But uh when I got ready to make that turn, it had a sign saying no trucks. So I just drove up a little bit to the next to the next street and then my GPS rerouted me. And look, the guy pulled me in and now I don't even see his ass. But the other guy told me to make the right. So I'm gonna make the right. 
I mean, if, if this ain't the right spot, I'm pretty sure I can, uh, I don't fucking know where these guys at. I don't fucking know. That shit got a lot of bullshit right there. I don't fucking know. Let me call this guy, man. Get escorted by a damn four-wheeler. As soon as you pull in, you don't see the damn truck. Damn. But I'm in a good spot where, you know, if I got to back out and go the other way, I can. Ain't going to be no problem. This motherfucker disappeared. Let me call this dude, man. It's a crane unload, so it's going to take me a while to get unloaded. Find this phone number. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Here we go. Nah, the guy, the, the guy. Close to the side, close to the box. I got a lot of traffic going in and out of here. Hey, did you see the truck that escorted me in? I don't know which way he went. Okay. Okay. They got a, they got a Migo right there. He told me to get the hell out of the way. I guess I gotta get the hell out of the way. All right, man. Back to what I was saying. You get escorted by a four wheeler. The motherfucker tell you follow him. Next thing you know, he gone. Seven three two seven seven eight. Let me call this dude, man. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, I'm, I'm at the place. I'm trying to figure out where I need to go to get to that crane. You got it, um, Did you go in the gate yet? Yeah, I went in the gate. Okay, when you pull up, you pull up like the road, and you make a right turn in front of the big building. Yeah. And there's a hill. All of a sudden you'll come up, they'll be here. You'll see like, um, the man I'll cover with a cone on it. Yeah. Oh, I need to pull inside the building? Yeah, you're on inside. Oh, okay, right right before the manhole cover. Yeah. Okay, I see the manhole cover. Right. Right, Alright. Alright. Alright, man. Alright, man. Hey, I'm just trying to get out of here. Alright, I'm just trying to get out of here. Alright, I'm just trying to get out of here. Alright, I'm just trying to get out of here. Alright, I'm just trying to get out of here. Alright, I'm just trying to get out of here. The manhole cover's right in front of me. I like to have somebody. I like to have somebody in on the ground watching me. This dude told me to swing inside the building. There's the manhole cover. Real wise, so I get this trailer in there. Swing inside the building. Hey, pull my damn trailer to the right. Y'all can see what I see, boy. Y'all can see what I see. Swing inside the building. Now you would think it'd be somebody out here to direct me now.
Damn. Some fucked up shit here. So I gotta go uh, leave my truck right here and walk over to the office. Some fucked up shit, boy, I tell you. Hey, it ain't really fucked up, man. It is what it is, man. Flatbed game. This is what we do, man. This is what we do. Finally, finally found an actual human being that can help me out. So I gotta pull down here between the cones. Hey, you know what? I've been spoiled lately, man. I've been real spoiled. Doing lumber loads and pipe loads. This is the first time I did something, did something crazy in a while. I ain't did a job site delivery. I don't, even, I don't even remember last time I did one. Last time I did a job site delivery, I delivered some shingles down in uh, Jackson, not, yeah, Jacksonville, North Carolina. And, I, and the only thing about that, I had to wait for them to find a forklift. After they said they didn't need shingles, but they had somebody taking shingles off the roof. That's the last time I did a job site. Hey, job site deliveries, man, they always a damn hassle. If I ain't tell y'all, I'm, I'm in Perth, Amboy, New Jersey, and I, hey, it was it was rough getting here too, man. A lot of a lot of sharp turns. All right, now somebody got to tell me where to go with. Got a guy to my left. That's a welder. I see the crane. Crane over to the left. Uh-oh. Got somebody coming over here. Just go straight to the wall to the and sit there. Yeah, don't hit the wall. Don't <laughs> got, the truck. got you. Alright. Oh man. Ain't, ain't, nothing, ain't nothing like running across somebody that can, that can direct you, man. Instead of having to get directed on the phone and shit. Straight to the wall. That's what it just told me. Straight to the wall, just don't hit the wall. Hey, y'all still want to do flatbed? This is what y'all want? Y'all want to see this crazy shit? <laughs> oh, man. That crazy shit right here. And guess what? After I get done, I gotta get back out this shit. <laughs> Straight to the wall. Straight to the MFN wall. Just don't hit the wall. Alright, gang, let's get out and do some work, man. Y'all look through that river right there, or that door. You'll see the uh you see the damn river. Woo! Flatbed gang! Y'all see this? Y'all see this shit? It's cluster fuck what I had to bring up here. Low shifted on me three times. See that piece of dunnage? Cluster fuck. So happy I made it here to drop this load off, man. So happy. Flatbed game, man. 
I can't say it enough. Let's do it. He's coming for me. Decided to unload me with the forklift. A lot faster than that damn crane. There you go. I knew they were gonna do something different for the crane way over there. They probably take that crane about about 20 minutes just to creep from over there to this to this truck. So I'm glad they're using the forklift. Hey, hey, while I'm standing over here, I gave y'all, I, I put that little clip up there a while ago, that Hornady sticker. I got a melting, I got a melting sticker right there. I keep this stuff in proof of good luck. Got new, new core steel, and uh, that's SSAB down there and uh, outside, I think it's right outside Mobile. Down there by uh, that Calvert Steel place where you get the coils at, but that place right there, you pick up flat steel. Hey, I just thought about something, man, because a lot of guys still be asking me about uh, why why did I leave Hornady? A lot of guys still ask me that. Let me tell you real quick. Man, my truck is so muddy. Look at this truck. The truck is a damn mess. I have to fix it when I get to, uh, get my next load. Yeah, let's see this right here. I like my shirt. Notorious B.I.G. Hey, if I ain't never, if I ain't never told y'all, well, I know I done told y'all, but I told y'all that like a year ago. And people still ask me, they like, why did you leave Hornady? I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you why I left. And this don't apply to everybody. This only applies to me. I left because they had me on a dedicated account pulling sheetrock out of uh, National Gypsum. And uh, they won't know if it was National Gypsum or they are one of them sheetrock places. Y'all know the sheetrock places where you just pick the trailer up already tarp with straps on it. You just hook a book, drop a hook. Whew, that's what they hired me for, for a dedicated account. I was home every night, home every night, except for maybe one night out of the week if I had to go three, four hours away, I go ahead and take my 10 hour break there so I wouldn't burn my clock up. But I was making 27% of the lows, but the lows weren't paying up about six, $700. So 27% of those low paying lows and you only doing like maybe four, four or five lows a week, you ain't making no money. But the recruiter lied to me. That's why I left Hornady. That's the reason the recruiter lied to me. The recruiter was like, you know, we put you on a dedicated account but when the weekend comes around, if you want to run some long distance over the weekend to make some more money, you can do it. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. Work five days during the week. I got an option to work on weekends and make some more money. When I when I got when I got hired on, and um, told my my dispatcher about it, I was like, yo, the recruiter told me, you know, if I wanted to work on the weekends, cause you know sometimes I might drop my load on Friday at damn nine ten o'clock in the morning. And my next load would pick up the same day, but wouldn't deliver until Monday. So I'd be done. I'm like, man, like I can't make no money like this. If I'm doing percentage on these short paying loads, cause these loads is only going like 30, 40 miles. I might get one for a hundred every now and then. I need to be dropping like, at least like two or three a day to really make money. I was only dropping one load a day sometimes. 
So I told my DM, I'm like, yo, the recruiter told me uh, once I got once I started running, if I wanted to run some uh, regional stuff on the weekends, then um, you know I could do that to make some extra money. And he was like, no, nah, I don't know if we could do that. Cause then we'll send you out on Friday. You drop off Monday. Then you got the dead head back right to the uh, to the hub. I don't know if we can do that. Hey, I ain't even argue with him. I was like, all right, man, all right. So, you know, I had some personal stuff going on at the time, too. I was trying to find another place to live at anyway because I was uh, moving out of my girlfriend's apartment in Wilmington. And so I had some personal stuff I had to do anyway. So I needed that time to be home to take care of that stuff, to move, get a U-Haul and move out, stuff like that. So it worked out all right for what it was. But, for the, but if, if I would have been a lease driver, like doing those lows, damn, it would have been straight, but it ain't work out like that. So that's why I left Hornady, because the recruiter lied to me. If anybody want to know, that's why I left Hornady. Simple as that. talk y'all heads off man I ain't even gonna do it I'll show y'all where I'm at real quick y'all recognize this I don't know if you do or don't but I've been here that's where I come every time I come up in this area Camden New Jersey I ain't even gonna talk y'all heads off, man. Hey, I just want to say a couple things, man. Answer a couple questions. Mainly one question, really. Hey, but first I want to say uh, thank you to everybody who told me happy birthday last week, February 1st. Everybody told me happy birthday, man. I appreciate that. That's about all I'm gonna say, man. Cause I ain't gonna show y'all nothing from this place cause I done been here too many times. and I got about six videos at the same place. But this load is going to uh, Richmond, Virginia. I kind of got fucked over last time I came here because I was supposed to be home on a Friday for my birthday. Matter of fact, I was supposed to be home early that Friday. That same video I showed y'all in Winston-Salem when I got here at 10 o'clock and they didn't load me to 3.30. What time is it now? 11.21. I just, I just checked in. The load ain't supposed to be ready till one o'clock. Okay, so I checked in, the lady told me that. I was like, yeah, I know, but I was just trying to get it early. And she was like, we'll try to work you in, but we can't promise. Hey, Y'all know how that goes. I got about 45 minutes difference between my 14 and my uh, 11. I got eight hours, 35 minutes of drive time. I only need about, maybe like, I, I don't really need, I need no more than like four hours to get a, just to get a head start and get down to Richmond. But uh, if I can make it all the way tonight, it'd be all right because you could park overnight at BMG Metals. But I'll probably go to that uh, Flying J down there, take a shower and all that. But yeah, the drive cam, man, that's what I want to say, drive cam, because God just commented, it was like, yeah, he didn't want to go to Maverick because they got drive cam and this is an invasion of your privacy. Hey man, let's like I told him. Hey, when you go to Walmart, Walmart got cameras on every aisle. They don't got no blind spots in there. Only blind spot they probably got is when you go to the bathroom and they see you going in, see you coming out. Hey, they got cameras everywhere, man. They got cameras on street corners, restaurants, everywhere you go, they got cameras. Like the police can track you down, you know. You could be in California and on the run from fucking Florida 
and they got those fucking cameras that that fucking recognize facial features and they got all that shit in a fucking database so hell man bro it's cameras everywhere so you can't say you know i don't want to work at this company because they got drive cams or whatever because the way i look at it if you ain't doing nothing wrong while you're driving you ain't got nothing to be worried about by the damn drive cam i got a drive cam and i'm a, and i'm a leash driver hell all the way these companies use these drive cams because you know they can save on their insurance and all that because they got these drive cams so drive cams force drivers to be a lot safer because they know they got a camera looking at them so they're not gonna drive as reckless as somebody that don't have a drive cam so the only way around that you don't want to drive cam buy your own damn truck that's the only way around it buy your own truck fuck it on a straight owner op but yeah if you working for a company man hey i'm a leash driver but Hey, I still work for PNS. Hey, they can fire me at any time. This truck don't belong to me. Hey, hey, lease driver, owner operator. Now I can say owner operator unless you truly own your truck. You went to the bank and bought it. And even then, if you paying your own insurance, I'm pretty sure your insurance company will probably give you some kind of discount if you get a drive cam installed in it. So hey, it ain't no big deal, man. So y'all young drivers. They got that misconception about you don't want to work for a certain company because they got drive cams. Hey, you need to forget it, bro. Forget that shit. Y'all got this misconception that you don't want to work for a company that got automatic trucks. Hey, that's that dumb shit. Y'all don't want to work for a company that got a fucking ELD in the truck. Dumb shit. It's all dumb, man. I love my ELD. I don't want to fucking have to write that shit out measure it out with a ruler and all that hey fuck that hey I, I like having an easy job i go from point a point b take it to the house that's all i want to do easy job you don't gotta put too much thought in it when you're driving you don't you don't got your cell phone in your hand hey i was in south carolina man about a month ago i was on 95 i was in the right lane cruising i said a state trooper coming up on the left side in one of those suvs he got in the middle lane beside me. I'm sitting back like this, just driving. What ain't talking on the phone, nothing. Guess what, guess what that state trooper did? I seen him do it. He looked back. Looked back just like that. Just to look at me. And, and to see, you know, if I would have had a phone in my hand or whatever. And hey, he I didn't have a phone. He kept right on moving. And, and let me tell y'all, man, if if uh if, I mean, the shit happened so quick. He just rolled up right beside me and looked back just like that. Hey, and if, if that state trooper say he saw you with a phone in your hand, it ain't, I mean, it ain't going to be your word against his. Hey, your ass going to get a ticket. And if you work for a company like me or somewhere, some kind of company, you probably going to get fired. So, hey, don't have the cell phone in your hand, man. I had a driver come up beside me yesterday on the right side. I was in the middle lane. Had a cell phone. And he was fucking swerving. So I was like, fuck. And, and it was a fucking, um, what's that company? P PMG? Flatbed company. What, I think that's the name of it. Hey, all over the damn road. I had, to, I had to go to the left a little bit so he wouldn't hit me. And uh, I didn't even cross the line on this side, but I had to move over just a little bit so he wouldn't hit me. My good luck pin, trusty melting truck lines. Hey, I said I won't go run my mouth. It's already up to six minutes. Hey man, I could sit here and talk for damn an hour if I had to, but I ain't gonna do it today. I ain't gonna do it. I'm gonna sit here, relax, drink me some more coffee. 11.26, Portman time, one o'clock. Lady says she gonna try to get me in early. Let me go ahead and tell y'all, that's some bullshit because guess what? 11.26, they go to lunch at 12. And they don't come back till one o'clock. So I know I'm gonna be sitting here. It is what it is, man. I'ma sit here, relax, clean my floor up. Cause my floor got fucked up. Y'all seen it from the mud and shit. About to clean. I done cleaned it one time, but since it dried, it still got some mud on it. So I'ma go ahead and clean that and just Chill out till I get loaded, man. Till next time, flatbed gang. Hey, make sure y'all follow me on Snapchat. Hey, I accept every damn request y'all send me. I, I I follow it back. Hey, so for uh, Corey Rogers, if if you can't 
if, if you can't find me on Snapchat, hey, find me on Instagram or Facebook. You can find me on something, or you can send me an email. Corey Rogers, you. Make sure you find me, bro. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to everybody, man. If I got the time to talk to you, I'll talk to you. So, all right, I'm out. Flatbed game.